Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rachel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, if you're returning, welcome back. I'm super excited because today I have an unboxing video for us. It's a brand new company I've never ordered from before, but it's pretty big in the reseller community. I would say I'm sure you've heard of it. Yeah, it's Quick Lots. So um, I normally do apparel and clothing, shoes, accessories, for my eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari stores, closet, whatever. Um, but I have this time a general merchandise mystery box from Nordstrom from Quick Lots. So if you like unboxing videos, certainly subscribe to my channel. I do videos a few times a week and I love sharing with you what I'm sourcing for my reseller platforms. I do a lot of online sourcing, but this one is a new one for me. Drop me a like if you find this helpful at any time. It really helps my channel out as well. Um, so I haven't been able to get my hands on a Quick Lots box before. They just, they, they go live and they sell out very quickly. And I'm just not online at the times they go live, I guess. So I end up like not getting them. But they started doing this thing with comments sold where basically they post it available on their Instagram. You comment sold. And then you have five minutes to check out. So it's more like, a, it's a more fair system, I guess. So anyway, I don't know anything about this box. I've watched others unbox the Nordstrom general merchandise. So I am expecting maybe some housewares, some accessories, maybe hats and gloves. You know, it's April, so they're probably liquidating their winter stuff. Um, maybe some small like dishes or um, cookware. I really don't know. I don't know much about it. It's, it doesn't say like how many items or anything. All I know is it is a Nordstrom mystery box. I paid $336.99, which included the shipping. So not much more to say, except let me go ahead and open this up. Now, um, if you guys have seen my videos before, you know, I do not open the boxes if I can help it until I turn on the camera. So we get to see this together. Um, but the plan is unbox. Um, I just moved. You guys might notice this is my new office. Um, I figured what better time than a time where it might actually be possible that I could use some of this stuff here in my own home. So um, I guess we'll give it a shot. Um, but everything else I will list on probably four different platforms. Not sure how much of this is going to end up on Kitizen, but I cross list using List Perfectly. I'll get it on all five or four of my platforms, uh, at least Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. And uh, I'll let you guys know in 90 days what actually sells, even after the first reaction. So, okay, um, here, let me show you. Just opening it up, that's what it looks like. And um, I guess I'm gonna say it's as expected eh, so far. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? Let me make some room here. All right something furry right on top. So let's go with here first. This is a, okay, so <laughs> this is a rug, I guess, which I'm not mad about because I could use this for staging probably the hundreds of pieces of jewelry that are in here, right? Um, but this does have a clearance sticker of $39.97. Um, I don't know what it actually is or why, what you would actually use this for. By the way, um, I don't do home goods normally. So I, if you know what any of this stuff is for that I do not, please feel free to drop me comments. Or if I'm misrepresenting any of these items or whatever, like I want to know. So let me know. Um, but furry rug. All right. This is a bandana, I guess. Yeah, so this is a random bandana with no tags or anything. I'm just pulling out a few of the soft things. This is a Nordstrom, okay, Nordstrom branded Buffalo print scarf, but it is 100% cashmere. And even as last chance, it's marked at 1897, so. Definitely not in season, but I really, I expected I'm going to get some winter stuff because that's what they're liquidating right now in the spring. Of course, I go right to the apparel and accessories first. Sorry, guys, but uh, here we are. 
It's a little little tote bag. The brand is BP, which you know we we all love the BP uh, apparel. Uh, I'm sure if you know, you know. But this is just a little tote bag. Uh, it is new with tags, but uh, okay. Got some gloves. So these are marked at ninety nine dollars. What's the brand? They feel like they might be leather. Uh, maybe they're just Nordstrom brand. I, you know, I, I don't shop at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack, really. Um, I don't shop anywhere except for Poshmark and eBay. Uh, so <laughs> these might be real leather. I mean, they're marked at $99. Um, Touchscreen compatible. Do they have... They're really soft inside. Maybe they're cashmere. Oh, wouldn't that be nice if they're cashmere inside? Okay. Oh yeah, shell, 100% genuine leather, and lining is 100% cashmere. Okay, and there is a, a, a number seven in here. If these are a size seven, I was today years old when I learned that gloves are sized in numbers. Like I can see small, medium, and large. I've never seen gloves have a numerical size, so that's a first for me. This is a nylon, maybe crossbody. Is it a crossbody? Yeah, I guess it's a crossbody. Maybe it's just a shoulder bag. Um, either way, it's not, It's this is pretty cheaply made, I can tell. Um, Nordstrom brand, the regular price was $25 and it's marked uh, red tag for $18.75, so. This is the brand Berry, and it's like a headband. You know, I don't wear headbands. Maybe I should start. Okay. This is, oh, this is a wireless Bluetooth speaker. And uh, there's a lot of tags on there, but the last one says $7.97. <sighs> now this is one of those things like, do I test it and see if it works? But then I have to open it. But then is it really new? I don't see this is where I get caught up and I really don't know. But okay. All right. These are Bluetooth headphones. And the box is open, but I don't know if like they actually were ever taken out because they're still in here. These don't really look um, super pricey or anything. Uh, $16.97 and I don't see a clearance tag so these might have been like a customer return phone pocket with removable strap oh I see so you like you stick it to the back of your cell phone and it holds your credit card and then you could put it around like crossbody. I mean, I guess, but what happens if you have a case and a pop socket? Okay. Um. Okay. Um, this actually looks very nice. Now, um, wait. Do you hate it? Do we hate it? What do we think? Is it even on? Wait, maybe it goes this way? No, it's gotta go this way. The tag's in the back. What do y'all think? I'm definitely not a hat person, but this is a nice hat. Uh, it's a little too big for my head, I would say. Um, 57 centimeters, size medium. It is 100% Australian wool. And it is our last chance item, but for $52.97. So I'm curious to know what the original price is on this. It feels very nice. This is definitely a probably more of a higher end item. Um, even though I know nothing about hats, just the way it feels. Something silky. Is this a pillowcase? This might be a pillowcase. Um, this is a random silky pillowcase. And it doesn't have any tags or anything and it's all by its lonesome. So I don't know what we're doing with that. Hat, yin yang hat, BP. 
this might match that little bag. Maybe I could sell them as a lot, but it's um, last chance for four fifty. What's this? Tech Elements Two in One Charging Stand. Oh, so it charges your iPhone and your iWatch at the same time. The box is damaged, but it doesn't. Well, maybe it was open and taped. I don't know, but it's uh, twenty two ninety seven was the price. Apple and iWatch not included. Well, sorry they had to tell you that. Oh, here's a backpack. Oh, I think this is good. I've, is this, this is a good brand, right? This Herschel? Yeah, this is a nice bag. So this is marked at $110. Um, it does have a last chance sticker of $42.97, but this is a nice, nice bag. Look at that. I'll have to, of course, with everything, I'll have to go through and make sure that it's not like crazy amounts of flaws or any, you know, no, so that I know to note them. But this looks brand new. It's a laptop case. Okay. Okay, quick lots. Okay. This is a scarf with a very long piece hanging off of it. No tags or anything I don't see on here. I like scarves like this. Once upon a time, I used to wear a scarf like this every day, almost, when I lived in Michigan. Now, not so much because it's like 80 degrees by April. All right, got another scarf. The brand is Soul Society. So at least this one has a tag. It is a sheer sort of leopard print scarf. I might rock this. I might sell this. I don't know, something smells in here, but I'm not sure if it smells good or bad. Another hat. This is Madewell, okay. All right, this is a Madewell baseball cap. Brand new with tag. Uh, doesn't look like it's been worn. MSRP is $29.50, no clearance tags. I'm not gonna, no. Actually, that one probably looked better than the other one. Bottle keeper. Is it a, there's a lot going on here. This is new. Red tagged at $7.97, regular price $29. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in here. Mini school kit. So it's got breath drops, stain remover, towelette, lip balm. I don't know if I could sell this. This is like a stocking stuffer. It's in a little mini backpack. I don't know if you can tell. That's cute. Um, this is a International World Travel Adapter. So it is priced at $9.97. Uh, it says damaged. Like on the back. It's got a, it says transfer out damaged, so I'll have to see. I do expect that there's going to be some stuff in here that I simply just cannot sell. I, I understand that, so if that's one of them, like, okay. This is a little clutch. What is the brand? Re oh my gosh, this is a Rebecca Minkoff, y'all. Look, brand new with tags. It's got all the paper inside still. It's got like this raw zipper edge. Boy, I'd get that stuck in my hair. Um, what is the price on this? The last chance price is $30.97, but I'll look it up. Um, there is a style style name. It's the Leo Clutch. So I'll look it up and find out. That's nice. That's super nice. Okay, Vince Camuto three-pack crew neck t-shirts. MSRP on the back is $40. This does not look like it's been open. Um, what's this size? Oh, size small. So these are men's. I'm not going to open these. I'm sure I can find a stock photo, but I won't open these because uh, uh, then they won't be pretty in the box. This is a Circular & Co. Oh, it must be like a, oh, it's like a tumbler. There's no tags on it or anything, so I don't really know anything about it. The world's first cup made from used cups. Well, that's pretty cool. 
it you can tell it's like it looks like recycled material so okay i'll have to see about that a belt a very tiny belt this is a nordstrom it just says nordstrom and i don't see a size or anything but it's size little i mean little we've got a what is this arouse your senses incense you would think this is what smells but i don't think it is be merry party uh banner i might just keep this because i think eventually with buying a house you get the rite of passage of having to host the christmas event or something so i'll hang on to that um this is anti-blue light screen protector for i guess a tablet um this is the box is damaged but it looks like it's still new in the package uh, for iPad Pro 12.9, 2015, 2017. Well, I don't know how many people are going to be looking for that. Um, this is some more gloves. This is 55% recycled cashmere, 45% cashmere gloves. Uh, brand? Nordstrom House Brand. That's fine. It's crazy to me that people like actually pay full price for this stuff at Nordstrom. And then I get it in a box like this. PGA Tour golf hat. Oh, it's got the little um, PGA logo, but it's a little golf beanie. Oh, another one of these tote bags. Maybe I can lot them up. It doesn't look like it matches that hat. Speaking of hats, this one's a little smushed, but... The brand is Brixton, size extra small. This one is marked at $12.97. Ooh, so tell me, is this one? Okay, this one actually feels like it fits on my head a little better. My head is not extra small, though, so I'm not sure why. <laughs> That's really nice, though. This is, um, I don't know what this is you guys there's still a lot of stuff in here so this video is going to be extra long drop me a like if you're still here for one and for two if you need to take a break grab a snack i'll be here there's a lot of stuff left in here filler paper let's see more gloves uh antimicrobial okay i gotta i gotta go a little faster more um, 100% cashmere gloves. This is a hand poured scented candle. I bet you this is what I smell. <sighs> yes, this is what I smell. It smells like something's on fire. And let me tell you why. Something was on fire. Not recently, but this smells. Oops. Oh my gosh, totally gross. Like it's, I don't know if it's supposed to be this way, um, but now there's like wax all over my floor. Oh my gosh, this is all over my hand. It smells like a barbecue pit. I literally was looking around my room as I was unboxing this, like what's on fire? Oh my gosh, ew. I have to clean this up and wash my hands. Okay, yeah, that thing is going in the trash, like straight in the outside trash, not even in my trash can. Um, it is gonna smell like that candle in here for days and I can totally tell somebody lit it for five minutes and was like, hell no, and returned it because I would have done the same thing. Oh my God, ew. Anyway, random headband. I might lot up some of the random headbands and just sell them together. Some fringe. Uh, Renee's NYC. This is quite the fun little piece, though. I mean, so it's like a triangle. Triangle scarf. Um, no price or anything. That's fun. This is a 
hanging toiletry kit. Nordstrom brand, 1997 was the retail price. Got some Christmas cards. Yellow Owl Workshop. Original price $21.50 on this for a set of eight cards. So, and one additional card. Another scarf. I like the print on this one. Um, no tag. I guess I'm the proud owner of a unbranded scarf collection. This is a heirloomed. It's a tea towel. Ooh, a tea towel. That sounds fancy. I need that for my fancy kitchen. But it says set of two, and there's only one here. This might go in my fancy kitchen, actually. Is this? Actually, I don't know, because this is like blue. My kitchen's gray and brown. Okay. Spanx. Used Spanx. All the way Spanx. I will investigate further to see if these are usable. Got some splendid shoes. I wasn't expecting shoes in here, but that's okay. Um, these are, uh, they're marked down to $29.98, but they have a retail price of $99. I can't find a size right off hand and I'm trying not to make this video take all day. So, uh, check my, by the way, if you are interested in any of this stuff, check my links down below. Hopefully by the time I get this stuff listed, uh, by the time I publish this video, I'll have everything listed. So, um, some sunglasses. These do not appear to be branded. These are like no name sunglasses. They just say made in China. These say Jessica Simpson. And they are last chance. They look pretty good though. I don't see scratches on them. I know I've, I've heard people complain about these Quick Lots boxes having like really scratched up glasses. Got another scarf. This one is just a Nordstrom Rack Lula Lola collection. So it's like, ooh. More greeting cards. Seasons Eatings. Yep, that's right up my alley. Got some more gloves. These are genuine leather again, lined with silk. Oh, that's fancy. Fancy, fancy. Um, they're last chance $12.97, but I don't know how much they were originally. Oh my gosh, all I can smell is that candle. More sunglasses. I've got some BP. These are Jessica Simpson. Another scarf. This is just like the other one. Well, I guess a different pattern slightly. That Lula collection. Some random mesh. This is literally random mesh. Like it doesn't have a tag. It doesn't go to anything. It's just like mesh. More gloves, two pair, both are cashmere. Peppermint cocoa natural soy wax candle. Okay, this smells really good. I need to burn this to get rid of the smell of that. Um, but it's sealed, so I'm assuming I'm going to open it because I'll tell you right now, I'll be keeping this for myself. I love candles. I have a ton of candles. And that's what we do around here. We burn candles. So there is no point in selling this. And quite frankly, if that other one didn't smell so terrible, I would probably try to burn that one as well, even though it was already used. Yeah, that one's a really nice 
new inbox candle. Oh my gosh, that other one is awful. Why would anybody, oh. Oh, I feel so bad for whoever actually lit that in their house. Got a couple of these little pouches. Um, I, You know, they're little, I don't see a brand or anything. They're just little pouches, probably really cute for a little girl. Um, let me see, is there more? Yeah, there's like a couple, oh, they're BP. They're, there's a couple of them. I would probably just lot these up and sell them. You know, if you're having like a kid's birthday party and you're doing like party favors, um, that might be beneficial to somebody. Here's a little nylon pouch, Nordstrom Rack branded. Um, this might be like a fanny pack. Beer, beer socks, stocking stuffers. This is margarita socks, stocking stuffers. This one's in a case. The brand is Quay. I've never heard of Quay, but as you can see, I have prescription glasses. I can't just wear any old sunglasses, so I don't even look for them. These are marked at $65, but I don't know if that means they are marked down to $65 or that was their regular price. So I'll have to check those out. What is this? Large item. This is the last large item in the box. Oh, this is a Stag EKG electric pour over kettle. And it was a return. I don't know how to use a pour over kettle. And I don't know if it could be like broken or whatever. Something like this. It says $159. So maybe I could part it out. Um, here's the. Okay. So it's like a hot plate. And the kettle, it does look like the kettle had some water in it at some point. So I'm probably going to just see if I can figure out how to use it. And, uh, and I don't know, uh, maybe keep it or if it works okay, just sell it as pre-owned. I have sold some pre-owned appliances and coffee makers. They still sell pretty well. Another Christmas card, or actually that one's a Hanukkah card. This is a workout kit. Okay, I might actually keep this. It's got a jump rope, um, slider discs, resistance band, and the carrying case. So I just built a workout room in our basement, and uh, I might actually keep this. There's another one of those, whoops, another one of those green pouches and another one of those scarves. Got a Nike band. What kind of band is this? This is not a headband. It's got rubber. Where does this go? Y'all, where does this go? Is it a resistance band? I don't actually know what this is, but it's Nike. Oh, another workout kit. More cashmere gloves. These are not, these are socks, cozy socks. They've got the rubber grippy. Um, these are Founds Brothers. $12.99 was the original price. A couple more things. I got two more pairs of sunglasses. These are Le Specs. These are Jessica Simpson. And is this the other tea towel? This one's actually going to match my kitchen. What is this? $24.97 for one towel. Oh, 
what is it? 100% cotton. I don't know why this was $24.97. Maybe it was a 10 pack, um, but this one's gonna match my kitchen, so I'll keep it. Okay, so that's everything. Um, I don't even know how many pieces. I am thankful because I have seen um, ones that have like a ton of costume jewelry. I didn't get that. Thank goodness. There's a lot of scarves and stuff, but some summary items, so that's good. Um, I guess my strategy is as follows. Obviously, get the most higher end or most valuable stuff listed. Um, probably lot up some of the smaller items or seasonal items and um, go from there. I don't really think there's much I can... Um, Nothing really to take to buy, sell, trade. I might send the Rebecca Mink off to the real, real, but it's brand new. So I'm probably just going to try to sell it. First thing I'm going to do is throw that candle in the garbage. Um, but I'm going to get to work on this box. Um, it's hard for me to say whether or not this is a good box just at first pass. 350. What did I say? 336 .99 for all of this stuff. Do I think I will make my money back? Yeah, absolutely I will. I don't think it's gonna be too much of a chore to make my money back, but you guys, we're not in the business of making our money back. We want to make profit, so um, will I make profit on this box? I'm not sure. I think there's some potential for some. Um, I don't know about in 90 days because of the stuff being so seasonal, but uh, if you want to know, I will post a 90 day update. After I've had everything listed for 90 days, I'll come back and talk about how much profit did I actually make. And based on the actual like sales success, would I pick up another one of these? So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. Let me know below. If you're watching this, you've probably either got one of these boxes before or you've watched other people's unboxings. So let me know what you think, if uh, how this compares to what you have purchased or what you've seen other people purchased. I'm definitely interested to know. Um, but that is it for today's video. Sorry it's so long. I appreciate you if you're still here and still watching. Thank you so much. I will catch you in the next one.